Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so for today's video, I really wanna do a tag. And the tag is five items I will never buy no matter the hype, kind of tag. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. Uh, click a thumbs up if you like this video. And just, you can also follow me on my Instagram account. I have two and I will link it down below. I just wanna do a disclaimer. Uh, these items just they're, they're not uh, I don't like them personally but that doesn't mean that other people will not like them this is just my personal opinion so don't take it like seriously um, a lot of people have done these tags and, uh, and they're talking about items that I personally own and I don't take offense of it you know you maybe like a, a one product and other maybe not like it but yeah we're all different we don't we all have different type of um, type of favorites it's like this so let's get started. I have like here on the phone my um, items. So the first items is a very, very hyped items. And I think this one is a type of um, like uh, product that a lot of people have been hyping for such a long time. And you just love it or you just hate it. And I am one of these people who do not appreciate this item, no, no, no matter the hype of it. And these one are the Balenciaga Ugly Sneakers, like the big chunky one. Um, okay, I hate them. I hated them at the beginning when I saw them everywhere. I was like, these are not for me. They're not, um, I'm not the type of person who loves sneakers. I'm more like a high heels kind of girl. This is, I've always been like this and it will always be like this. But in the past two years, I have been changing a lot. So I do have a lot of sneakers and I do enjoy wearing them. I have Gucci sneakers, A sneakers that I absolutely adore. I have other Balenciaga sneakers that I adore, the Speed Runners. I have the other one that I don't remember. I don't recall the name of them, but I will show them a picture so you guys can check them out. But these I adore, they are perfect. Um, but these sneakers are exactly why, the reason why I don't like sneakers. They are so big and chunky and because I'm not the type of girl who's so skinny, I'm very curvy, they just look huge on me. Um, and I have been trying them. I went to the store and I was like so happy. I thought, oh yeah, now I wanna try them. I'm really skeptical, but I'm gonna try them because you always have to do that. If you're thinking about an item, just go for it. Just try it on, but don't order online. First try it on in the store. So this is what I did. I tried on the, I think it was the black with the pink, like black, white, and pink uh, around it. I will show a picture of what I tried. And they were humongous. They were so huge on me. Uh, I thought that, that I had like 45 in, in sneakers, like it's not normal. I do have, and also that's another problem. I have a really big feet. I have 39, 39 and I'm really small. I'm 162 centimeters, so I'm not that tall. And these trainers make your feet look huge. And if you're not tall, you will not look that good in them. Uh, but this is my personal opinion. They're not for me. Uh, but on other girls, they look amazing, like amazing. The item itself, I don't like it at all, but on some girls, wow, it looks incredible. Like Tamara, for example, the blog influencer, she looks stunning with these sneakers. I, I look like uh, I have like luggages instead of feet. So no, this is not an item for me. So the next one, uh, the next one, yeah. And this one is very debating because this is just an item that I will personally never buy, but it's so cute. So I understand the hype and I understand why so many people buy it. And these ones are backpacks. Backpacks, I always hate it. Like always, because in school, in, in Italy, you always have to take your backpack with you. That was like 10 kilos just of books. It was so heavy on my shoulders. And just because of that, I had a lot of um, um, shoulders and um, back problems back in the days. Now it's perfect. But I did have a lot of problems because my books were so, so heavy. Um, so I do not like this backpack trend. And of course, it came different one. I will show you pictures. It came the one from Louis Vuitton, the, 
the palm springs the small one that looks adorable but I just it's not for me I have been looking on the Chanel backpack beautiful the one Jerusha Couture Jerusha uh, bought beautiful but on me it's just no it's something wrong it's just doesn't fit my style and also the problem is is like this most of these backpack are very big and the tendency that I have is to just throw a lot of stuff in them and that's not good that's not good it's like a big haul and you just throw stuff in them no I'm more like smaller bags and fit with small leather goods and then I, that's it I don't want to have a huge haul where I try to find what I have everything <laughs> so no backpack I pass so next third item oh this is also very debating these one are and I have been trying them the Gucci loafers the one without fur, the one with fur. I have been trying them all, like all. And now every time I go into the Gucci store, I try them on because I, lo I love them. I love them. I feel like they're so cool, so edgy. They make your, um, your look, your outfit look so great, like so edgy and put together and like really cool. You look like a fashion blogger, like you look so cool like you thought actually about the outfit but no it's not for me <laughs> it's actually not for me i tried the one the gucci loafers just with without the fur with the flower on it they are beautiful the pink flower on it <gasps> beautiful i also tried the one with uh, velvet in velvet with the gucci em embrace on it with the logos uh, i think the color was like the blue dark blue marine blue velvet beautiful um, I also tried the classic black leather calf leather with the fur you know they're beautiful but on my feet I don't know if it's because my feet are so wide or because they are also very big it looks horrible it looks like I have a like a, a ski I say that like um when you're when you're skiing you know it looks like that it's not for me and also because I have a wider foot I need to go up a size so instead of 39 I need to buy 40 um, so no I can't I can't actually buy them also if I think they look so great but no Jennifer you don't need them in your life because you will never wear them you will feel embarrassed and you will never wear them so no not for me then another one hmm and this one is also very loved by a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of blog influencer, fashion influencer. And this bag, I do not like. I actually don't like it. It's not that it doesn't fit my style. I just don't like the bag. And, and it's so sad because it's like an Italian brand, so I should be proud, but this bag I don't like. This one is the Fendi Peekaboo bag. I never like this bag, never. Like the mini version, the small version, the medium version, I don't like this bag. I feel like it's too simple for the amount of money that it costs. Um, it doesn't look different, it doesn't look, it looks elegant, this of course, but it doesn't look special to me. I don't know, I just feel it's so expensive and it's not even cute, I don't like it, mm, I'm sorry. A lot of people love this bag, but for me, it's just I don't like it. And now they have also the Fendi Defender that you can dress up your peekaboo bag, and that's a really smart way to look at it. I feel like the Fendi uh, Defender is really cool, really interesting, um, and I appreciate it that they try to um, make it a, bit, a little bit more modern, a little bit more cool, the old peekaboo kind of bag, but the bag itself. Mm, not for me. I don't like it. No, I'm sorry. Next is also a very controversial one, but I think a lot of people have been talking about this uh, item. And this one is the trunk case from Louis Vuitton for your iPhone. Um, I, when I first saw it, I was in love. I, I thought, oh my God, that's it. That's it. I love it so much. Perfect. I want that. And then I checked the price. And I almost have a heart attack. So expensive. I, I think it's almost thousand euro. I think so. Let me check. I check it right now. Now I found it. Okay. Cover smartphones. 
Okay, if you want to have like an iPhone X cover, like the normal one, it costs 235 euros. And this is this one right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, this is more normal price. This I will understand, like 230, that's, that's okay. That's not that expensive, but now, yeah, exactly, here it is. Cover eye trunk, iPhone X or XS. And it's this one right here. You see that, right? You know how much it costs? In euros, huh? So if it's in euros, can you understand how expensive this one is in America or in Australia? It must be so much more expensive. 900 euros, 900 euros. I'm like, it's not normal. And this one is the monogram one. The reverse monogram, I don't know how expensive it is. Ah, it's the same price. And this one is that one here. And this is also 900. Like, no, never, I will never buy a cover, an iPhone cover for 900. Like, eh, I don't know, I never heard such a thing. Of course, if you have a lot of money and you don't know what to do with your money, then of course you should buy it. But otherwise, no, you know, with 900 euros, you can, you can buy a bag. Like, sorry, you know, it's, it's not normal. No, it doesn't make any sense. So no, I will not buy a trunk case, forget that. So guys, that was it for my uh, YouTube uh, video. Um, these one are the five items. Yeah, five items that I will not purchase no matter the height. So if you guys like this video, click a thumbs up. I will really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye!